In today's world, you can't eliminate risk, but the good news is you can surround it, and no one can help you do that quite like G4S. The recent WannaCry ransomware attacks have left some organizations and government agencies feeling helpless as networks were hacked and data was compromised. In this episode of Security Insider, we found out what businesses and organizations can do to keep their systems secure. Jerome Segura is the lead malware intelligence analyst at cybersecurity company Malwarebytes. He says ransomware is the most widespread type of malware or malicious software, encrypting valuable files like photos and documents. Ransoms typically cost between $400 and $500 for each infected machine. So when I cry was really, you know, a wake-up call for, for many that, uh, you know, ransomware was already known to be a big deal, but if you couple you know, the ransomware threat with a worm, then you've got something that's very lethal. There is very little you can do once you've been infected with ransomware. Uh, it's becoming harder and harder to decrypt files without having to pay a ransom. Jean-Ian Boutin is a senior malware researcher at IT security company ESET. He says the worm within the WannaCry ransomware infected approximately 200,000 computers in about a 24-hour span. He also says this outbreak could have been prevented had systems been up to date. So in this specific case, in the WannaCry case, a good patching strategy would have prevented this overall outbreak because the patch was already available. Because this was really a threat that targeted businesses more than consumers. Uh, what we realize is many businesses uh, and networks were not patched, were vulnerable to uh, this type of attack, which uh, exploited a file-sharing vulnerability. Toronto-based St. Michael's Hospital's Think Before You Click campaign advises users that most malware enters systems through email or websites and cautions against clicking on any suspicious email links or attachments. In a statement to Canadian Security Magazine, the hospital's deputy CIO, Frank Garcia, said, Normally, we take a little more cautious approach to patching servers to ensure that applications are not affected. But in this particular incident, we've had to patch in a more expeditious manner. Our approach to patching desktops has always been aggressive. They are patched as soon as patches become available. Having a security policy in place is a very good idea for, uh, for a business. So it, it all depends on... What are the risks? What are the, uh, the size of the business as well? But one can think of putting there like backup and like backup procedures because, as we know, ransomware, if they encrypt all your uh, valuable data, uh, such as documents, you might lose a lot of, of work or a lot of money if you have to pay the ransom. And the idea is really to have very good uh, backup process in place and store them in a um, non accessible uh, place so that they cannot encrypt the backup as well. In a lot of cases, sometimes just one version behind is enough to be, to be hacked. Both Segura and Bhutan say educating staff is a must. You know, you can install a lot of different pieces of technology, but if you don't also uh, train your people, you know, you only want to have the battle. According to a ransomware survey Malwarebytes conducted in 2016 among a number of countries, Canada had the highest number of people who had paid a ransom to retrieve their files. Seguro says around 75% of Canadians affected actually paid the ransom. The more people pay the ransom, the more we're going to see you know, ransomware become so prevalent and criminals actually upping the price of the ransom. Even if you do pay, it doesn't guarantee you you'll get your files back. Not always because the Criminals don't keep their, their word, but sometimes because the, the ransomware itself was poorly coded and by accident kind of destroyed your files. That happens quite a bit. He also says affected businesses should report the incident to law enforcement to stop hackers, even if they don't want to go public with the news. He and Bhutan agree this will not be the last attack. Tamara Teek, Security Insider.